with the schedule being released tomorrow, I thought let's preview who we're facing and what I'm looking for in this upcoming schedule release. <laughs> What is up, Finn fans? How are you guys doing on this Wednesday? Hump day. Um, yeah, so essentially this video, we're going to be breaking down who our opponents are, the strength of schedule, and I roll my eyes because I'll talk about that, and kind of what I'm going to be looking for tomorrow at 8 p.m. And yes, I will be live for about half hour, give or take. We're going to together look at the schedule when you know prime time when we're facing who all that stuff so tomorrow live 8 p.m i will be live one more time live for about like i said half hour 45 minutes um and we're going to be looking at the schedule together fresh eyes so you're i'm going to be radio silent all day tomorrow uh because i don't want it to be spoiled for me at all um and it's gonna be fun to just jump into it and see it with fresh eyes all that good stuff so yeah we're going to be previewing that i'm going to talk about the tight end we signed um yesterday uh, but real quick, patrons, the first episode of Walking Talking with Doug or Dolphin Walking Talk, I haven't named it yet, is up right now. So if you are a patron, you probably might have gotten a notification that it's up or whatever. It's up first episode, uh, introduction. It's like a test episode. Go check it out. Let me know. Comment. All that good stuff. And if you want to see the episode and, and see what's going on, this new series that I got going on just for the Patreon, Patreon is linked in the description below. So, yeah, first episode is up. Let me know what you think. I ask for a lot of um, what you guys want it for the future episodes. And if you like it, uh, I'm going to start doing cool episodes over there for you guys. Same thing for the members. You're going to get your own cool stuff. It's a big thank you to you guys for all the support. So that's over there. So first off, let's jump into talking about who the Miami Dolphins signed yesterday. And that is tight end Tyler Croft. C yeah, Croft. Like Lara Croft? So I'm going to do a one-year deal. And it's probably bare minimum. It's probably a whole lot of nothing. Um... <sighs> That's my reaction to it, right? I'm not like, woohoo. And I'm not like, oh, this guy sucks. Why? I'm just like, all right. You know, drafted to Cincinnati in 2015. Did Was he undrafted? No, third round pick in the 2015 draft to Cincinnati. He played with the Bengals for four years. Uh, 2019, he went to Buffalo for two years. 2021, he went to the Jets. And then last year, he was with San Fran. Apparently, he was the reason um, Brock Purdy got injured uh, was because of his blocking. But I'm, like, looking at his stats, and, the, and it's nothing crazy, right? He had one year, uh, his 2017 season with Cincinnati, had 404 receiving yards, seven touchdowns. Other than that, it's nothing. 57 receiving yards, zero touchdowns last year, 173 receiving yards, one touchdown with uh, the Jets, 119 receiving yards, three touchdowns with Buffalo. The second year, like, the, it's, to me, it seems like he's a camp body. And that's my reaction. That's why I didn't, like, make a breaking news, Dolphin sign a tight end, because in all honesty, uh, right? Yeah, they could probably took that money that they gave to him and probably could have gave it to Cameron Fleming. And they only had like two two million, so he's probably getting like a million, if that. So, uh, it is what it is. I I think what they're gonna do is Sorbert and um, Durham Smythe. They're probably gonna be your lead guys, and then Tanner Connor and Higgins are gonna be those special out catching threat tight ends but i would love and i know the this is going to sound really dumb and it's like no no duh dog everyone wants that but i want like not even just a travis kelsey type tight end i want a legit pass catching all around third down you know tight end I don't want a tight end that can block, but can kind of go out and catch it if you need it. And I don't want a tight end who can really dynamic in the past, but can't block if his life depended on it. I'm tired of having our scheme being 
so obvious depending on which tight end is out on the field. Uh, I'm trying to think of like any other tight end that, you know, like a Shannon Sharp or you know, uh, Graham was not a, Jimmy Graham was not a fucking tight end. But you know what I'm saying? I want that guy. I think that's the next thing I'm going to bang the tail for because I still want that middle linebacker. I'm going to, you know, want that, but give me a legit tight end. We had options in the second, third round, but give me a, give me a legit tight end. So Dolphins signed tight end Tyler Croft. I'm just sitting back waiting for Cameron Fleming. They sign him. I'll feel better about the offensive line, uh, but they don't have the money to do that now. So we're kind of, a lot of the moves, we're going to have to wait for June 1st. So that is that. Now let's get into previewing tomorrow's schedule release and talking about that. So first, let's talk about strength of schedule. The Miami Dolphins have the second hardest schedule this upcoming year. And my thought and my reaction to that is it means nothing. It means absolutely 100% nothing. And you might say to yourself, it doesn't mean nothing, dog. You're literally saying that the opponents we're facing, you know, had are good, yada, yada. It means nothing. Absolutely nothing. I could show you data on data, and I've made these videos every year, and I'll tag it up here so you could see it where I, the strength of schedule means nothing there's so many times that the before the season starts this team is i got the one of the hardest schedules and then by the end of the season it it, it ended up being a very mediocre to easy schedule. it means nothing so much can happen from when you find out your opponents till the season starts and then to the middle of the season that's why like going into the season everyone's like oh my god look who we're facing and i'm going to talk about this look at that and then like you get to like week seven and then all of a sudden you realize oh that team kind of fell off everyone thought they were going to be good and they kind of they kind of blow oh my goodness ah means nothing strength of schedule means nothing everyone freaking out over our opponent everyone freaking out over who our opponents are right now today and when we're, you know, all this stuff, it means nothing. So much can change on the Dolphins aspect and on the opponent's aspect. So much can change. So to freak out about these things and to get yourself all in a tizzy and to worry about this now means nothing. Okay. <laughs> so now let's look at who our opponents are going to be uh, this upcoming season. It's black. We're facing no one into the abyss. Boom. There you go. Uh, I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller. I'm going to put myself in the middle. I'll scoot, I'll scoot over a little bit. Um, Actually, you know what I can do? I'll move this up. Oh. Whoop. I'm doing too much. You're seeing, you're seeing too much. Just know that this is home and this is away. <laughs> All right. Just like so I can make myself bigger. You want to see my, my stupid face, don't you? Don't answer that. Um, okay, so here's our opponents. You got the home, you got away. Home, we are facing, obviously, the AFC East, and then we are facing the uh, NFC East and the AFC West, and then we are facing uh, the same team that had our same record with the uh, NFC South. And what I mean by that is you have the AFC East, who is our division? You have the AFC West, Denver, and Oak. Oh, oh my goodness, Las Vegas. <laughs> and then you have uh, the NFC East, and then you have the South of the AFC uh, North, uh, AFC East, and AFC uh, NFC South. That's who we're facing, right? And these are home. Last year we had eight home, nine away. Now we have nine home, eight away. Um, and then over here, NFC East, South, uh, West in Kansas City and LA, East in um, my brain, the Eagles and Washington, and then you have the a AFC North. So these are new, right? These three teams, well, one of them is new. It used to just be uh, eight and eight. But now that we have the extra game on the season, they had to throw one in. So normally it would just be AFC nfc south of the teams that finished in your 
place, right? So the, uh, the Panthers and the Titans finished in second place with the Dolphins in second place. So we're facing them. But now they had to add a third team. So now that third team is the um, North of the AFC. And it's random. Like last year, um, I think it was the East. I think so. But anyway, so our home games are pretty nice, right? Because the Titans, you look at the Titans, the Panthers, and the Raiders, you're not expecting much out of them. And again, tomorrow I will not be making record predictions. It is way, 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 way too soon to make record predictions. And I make my record predictions uh, before kickoff on Thursday. So like Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, before kickoff in September is when I tell you, because now we see OTAs, training camps, and preseason. We know what the team looks like. We know what opponents look like. If there's injuries or anything, we know what it looks like. And I can give you my God's honest opinion of what their record will look like. But tomorrow, it's way too soon. We don't know what these teams are going to pan out to be. We don't know what Jimmy Garoppolo is going to look like with the Raiders. We don't know who the starter is going to be for the Titans, the Panthers. We don't know any of that, right? We don't even know who the starter is going to be for Washington. We don't know. So to try to make a record prediction is just way too soon. But I will say this, looking at the team as of today, the Raiders, the Titans, the Panthers, Washington, um, those are teams that, you know, Dolphins should beat. Even, you know, Denver. Denver had a good defense. They're often struggling to bring in Sean Payton. It's the first year with the new head coach. You know, it's going to be a little difficult there. But you look at these opponents, yeah, it's going to be hard, right? Patriots are the Patriots. You know, we all know about our division. We've talked about it at nauseum. Giants made it to the playoffs. Um, do like their head coach. Danny Dimes doesn't really scare me. Um, Saquon does scare me, but our rush defense has been getting better, and now we have Vic Fangio. Dallas, now that we brought in um, who we did with the secondary and Jalen Ramsey, Cam Smith, hopefully um, Nick Needham and Cater are going to be good to go. Well, Cater will be fine, but Nick Needham. Facing these wide receivers don't really worry me too much. Um, and then you look at the other side. Kansas City's Kansas City. They're going to be hard, you know? Eagles, you, you know, we're facing both Super Bowl teams. Baltimore doesn't scare me. We saw it. We came back from being 21 down against Baltimore. In Baltimore, doesn't scare me. Washington, doesn't scare me. Uh, Chargers, don't scare me. I don't care what we looked like in that crap game with a beat-up defense and Tua playing hot garbage. It doesn't scare me. Um, but I will say this, right? So our travels isn't bad. The only travel that sucks is heading to LA. Other than that, we don't travel much. East Coast, East Coast, East Coast, East Coast, East Coast, East Coast. And kind of East Coast, Missouri. It's all six out of the eight games we're traveling. It's on the coast. Buffalo, New England, New Jersey, Philly. Baltimore, Washington. Baltimore, Washington are like right next to each other. Like Philly, Baltimore, Washington clump together. You know what I'm saying? Buffalo, New England, the Jets kind of clump together. It, 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 last year, the travel was ridiculous. This year, the travel is not bad at all. And then we're home for nine games. I get the opponents are going to be hard. But again, to freak out about these things, it just, I don't understand it. So these are our opponents. Now, I'm going to answer some questions, right? Who I want to face first? Looking at the schedule that's going to come out tomorrow, I'm going to start talking about what I'm going to be looking for. First and foremost, who do I want to face first? Uh, I'm not one for, you know, being worried or, um, oh, let's let's face the Panthers or the Titans. Let's face these lesser teams just to, you know, get all. No, 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 no. Let's, I'm ready. Let's go. I want to face Kansas City Thursday. I, let's do it. Let's kick off the season against the Super Bowl champions in their home stadium. Bring in Tyreek Hill in town Thursday night against Kansas City. Let's do it. Or screw it. Let's face the Jets week one. I want to go against Aaron Rodgers week one. For the most part, he does tend to, you know, the past few years been really bad week one. But I want to face the Jets week one. They still yap about that 40, 40 points that we handed them. Because, you know, uh, 
Skylar Thompson was just hot garbage on our own side of our field. I want to face the Jets week one. Those are the two, right? Buffalo's Buffalo. You know, we kind of got off that skid last year, uh, beat them, and then we had the two games where we played them really close. All three games are really close, so I'm not so much like, oh, I want to make, um, I want to make like a statement against Buffalo. No, give me the hard team. So if it's not kickoff against Kansas City, give me the Jets. Give me, give me uh, Philly. I'm down for that. Let's go. And then if that's not the case, you know, say no. Send me the West Coast week one. Let me get that out of the way. Let me get that out of the way. Let me go face the Chargers week one. Send us to the West Coast because then you got plenty of time to prepare to travel because you don't have a game the day before. Send me to the West Coast week one. So that's what I'm looking at, right? You give me the Jets. I don't care if we're home or away for that. Kansas City, Philly, just because let's go. Let's, you know, start off punching them in the mouth, start the season off, or send me the West Coast week one. Get that out of the way because after that, the Dolphins don't travel far at all. Literally could take a bus off the coast and, and play your games. So those are – that's what I'm looking for for the first the first game, right? And then what we're also looking for is when we play who. And what I mean by that is our home games are good, right? Not having to travel to Denver is nice because say that game is in December. We got to travel to Denver. It's going to suck. Right, not having to travel to the West Coast multiple times and going to Las Vegas to face the Raiders. Nice, they got to come to Miami. I want to see when these home games are, right? Because we have faced Buffalo at home week three, I think two years in a row. And they've complained about it. It's too hot. It's too hot. Um, so I'd like to face Buffalo in Buffalo early, right? Get these cold weather games out of the way. Buffalo, New England, uh, Philly, Jets, Washington, Baltimore. Any of those. Get them out of the way early, right? Before November. Sprinkle them in. And then you get your home games, right? Sprinkle them in. Like I said, start with Kansas City. I don't give a crap. Start with Philly. I don't give a crap. Especially if it's you know week one. and It's not cold up there. Uh, but that's something I'll be looking for is when we play who. Not necessarily opponent-wise, but climate-wise. When are we home? How many times in a row are we home? Because we're going to get a nice stretch where we're we're home a lot in a row. That's what happened last year. Our, we, we had nine opponents away versus eight home. So we had that stretch of those three games, two on the West Coast and then in Buffalo. That sucked because of how many home versus away games we had. So that's one thing I'm looking for. Um the stretches. I want to see the stretches. I want to see if we have a hard stretch, if we have an easy stretch. But again, we won't know if they're hard or easy stretches until maybe about like week three or four, because then you really get an idea. Because we saw our schedule last year, and we're like, oh man, we got to face New England, then we got to face Baltimore, then we got to face the bu- Buffalo, and then we're on Thursday night against the Bengals. We'll be lucky if we win one of those games. We were three and zero going into, into Cincinnati. So again. You look at it and you get yourself all riled up and then you realize, oh, okay. And without that concussion, I honestly, you could laugh. I think I think we beat I think we beat Cincinnati without that concussion. Without a concussion, I think the Dolphins go eleven and zero. I think they beat Cincinnati, I think they beat the Jets, and I think they beat the Vikings. I think those three games, the reason we lost is because of offense, not because of defense. And I think we win those games. So I want to see where the stretches are. I want to see our road stretches, I want to see our home stretches, and I want to see the opponents, see if it gets difficult now we're home taking on dallas so we're not going to have a, a, a thanksgiving game or we might we might have a night you know it's not that thing anymore where it's just detroit and dallas so we might have a night thanksgiving game and that kind of goes into the next thing that i probably i'm going to be looking for sunday night monday night thursday night supposedly they're now doing a black friday game and then thanksgiving night so there's multiple opportunities for the Dolphins to be in prime time, and you saw last year we got flexed a lot into prime time. So the better you play, the better you are, the more prime time games you get. So that's what I want to see. I want to see you know, like I said, if the Dolphins, you know, are playing Kansas City at home, I feel like that would be a really good kickoff game. Tyreek Hill going back to Kansas City, he's got a great story there. That could be a possibility of a prime time game. 
Um, Dolphins, Jets, Dolphins, Bills, always good competition. That could be a good primetime game. Um, Herbert versus Tua again. They're one and one versus each other. That could be a good primetime game. Um, other than that, I don't. I don't see any of these other ones being good primetime games, but I still want them. Especially because since I'm going down this year, I've always wanted to see a night game. And I wanted to go to that Steelers game. So if they can get another Sunday night game, oh my God, that would be fantastic. Because that's the game I'm going down to. A Sunday night game. So I'd love for them to get a Sunday night game. I don't want them to get a Thursday night game. But I don't think there's an option in that. I think they have to get a Thursday night game. I think every team has to play one. I despise Thursday night games. They should only be for Thanksgiving. Other than that, I despise Thursday night games. They screw us over constantly. They screw over not just the Dolphins, but every team. You got such a short week. And if you ever notice, go look at the... For one of you guys, I'm giving you whoever wants it, homework. Go look at the Thursday night games when they started. And tell me the record of home versus away on those Thursday night games. And I bet you money that the home team has a way better record in those Thursday games because they don't have to travel on a short week. Hate the Thursday games, right? The other thing we're looking for is the bye week. When is the bye week? I don't like having early bye weeks. The first week you can get a bye week is week four. And then I think the last week is like, there's 18 weeks now. I think it's like week 16. Is the last week. Give me in the middle. So that's. Give me like. I like week 10. We had week 10 last year. I like week 10. Give me around the middle. Because then you can recharge. For the stretch. I prefer middle to late. By weeks versus early. Because then you're like. you make If you make it to the playoffs. You're running on fumes. Give me that middle to late by week. That's what I'm looking for. When it comes to um, the schedule. But. Comment below. Let me know what you guys are looking for, right? What are you interested in? Who do you want to start the season on? Who are you nervous to face? And, but again, I just want to reiterate, guys, a lot can change from now to then from on the Dolphins' behalf and on these teams' behalves. Um, but comment below. When do you like a buy? What are you looking for? Do you like the fact that we're not traveling a lot besides face going to L.A.? Comment below. Let me know. Uh, like I said, patrons, go check out the Patreon. The video is up for the first episode of The Walking, Talking, Doug, whatever it is. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, 8 o'clock live. I will not be on social media. I don't want it to be spoiled for me. So I'll see you tomorrow, 8 o'clock live. We will see the schedule for the first time with our own eyes. It's going to be a blast. But on that, like usual, stay classy. My fin's up.